In this tutorial, we'll be focusing on using FedEx Electronic Trade Documents, ETD, and commercial invoices for international shipping. Customs documentation plays a crucial role in processing and clearing shipments through customs authorities. For FedEx, ShipBridge also supports FedEx ETD for customs clearance. With FedEx ETD, you can submit customs documentation electronically, streamlining the shipping process and ensuring smooth customs clearance. Let's get started with enabling FedEx ETD in ShipBridge. To enable FedEx ETD, follow these steps, click on the menu button and choose options. Select the Carriers tab on top. Click on the FedEx sub-tab. Check the box for use ETD, Electronic Trade Documents. Click Save to apply the changes. When shipping internationally with FedEx, it is essential to include commercial invoices. Here's how you can set up and send commercial invoices using FedEx ETD. Choose the Customs tab on top and fill out the relevant information. Go back to the Carriers tab. In a FedEx sub-tab enable use ETD, Electronic Trade Documents, and print commercial invoice with ETD. Scroll down and click per company settings for commercial invoice. Check the box for use merchant specific credentials for FedEx API commercial invoice. Click edit next to the correct company and enter the relevant settings. For shipments to Canada, contact Seller Cloud Support and ask for a custom column for products called Harmonized Tax Code. Populate this field with the correct tax code for each product. Here are some additional settings you can configure in ShipBridge for FedEx ETD and commercial invoices. To set up a per company configuration, you can set different FedEx production access credentials and other settings per company in ShipBridge. To configure your printer, go to Label Printer Configuration and configure Label Printer settings for different packaging and FedEx delivery service types. To change the number of the invoices to print update the number of invoice copies to be printed setting. To change the bill duty and taxes, go to bill duty, tax to setting and choose one of the three options, seller, receiver or third party. You can also configure this per company from the per company configuration. Decide whether to include the shipping cost and the order cost on commercial invoices for international shipments. Click use shipping cost in commercial invoice. To remove the SKU info from shipping reference check one of the provided options. This will customize how that SKUs are shown in the related documentation. Change the Customs Description in Scan and Ship. Click on Scan and Ship and update the Customs Description under the Customs tab. That's it. You have now learned how to enable FedEx ETD and set up commercial invoices using SellerCloud's ShipBridge. These tools will streamline your international shipping process, ensuring efficient customs clearance and smooth deliveries.